gonna make the profiles boom, 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 boom. What the year is, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is today on Gunner's Profiles. Real life, real talk. We about to get into some real shit. What it is, it is added preservatives. No, no, I don't want sugar in my kool because see the way it works is I don't like sweet shit. No tajotito. Bang, bang. There it is. Anyways, as you can tell by that thumbnail, say it with your chest. I don't truck like a motherfucker. That shit'll do that shit to you, right? Um, trip out. How to build a strong YouTube channel. This is something for everybody. You know, since I'm being put out there that I help nobody, that I'm a selfish individual that only cares about my own YouTube channel, um, I thought that if for no other reason, I should help tell you how to build or assist you on how to build a strong YouTube channel. So sit down here. Some knowledge you definitely can't get in college. Um, to the best of my capabilities, I'm going to run you down on how to build a strong YouTube channel. Now, first and foremost, you have to be in it to win it. You have to be dedicated. Dedication. Let's take that word for a minute. Spell it. I can't. Um, the word dedication is a life, a, a lifelong word that should be in your repertoire. Should be in your vernacular to make it spectacular, right? You should always be dedicated to your craft in whatever you do. If it's gangbanging, if it's hurting people, if it's going out there and working fucking at Uber Eats, right? Whatever you're doing, be dedicated. Stay dedicated to your craft um, because if you're not a dedicated person and you're just like, I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? You know, I'm at the same time, hey, that's my fucking cheeseburger, is it, bitch? You know what I mean? You're not dedicated to what you're doing and that's going to hinder your pockets. You know, people want people that are dedicated. If I'm a boss at a job, I want to hire the person that's dedicated, that's willing to go the extra mile. That's willing to do what he has to do. So I'm scared. I'm fucking with him because they're about this guy. He got some dedication. You know what I mean? This guy over here, he's got dedication issues, right? Um, and and that's what's gonna separate the ones that that aspire to want stuff and get it from the ones that ain't trying to do too much. Now um, you got to be dedicated if you're gonna start a YouTube channel. Meaning you have to understand that it's gonna consume a lot of your time. You, you may think, oh, I'm just going to drop a video here and there and I'm all good. But if you really want to be a YouTuber, if you really want to have a successful YouTube channel, dedication is a must. Meaning, A, you got to be on your game. You know, depending upon the genre that you're getting involved in. If you're just going to talk about tennis videos, well, shit, you got, you know what I mean? If you know a little bit about tennis, then I guess you could, I don't know. Right, but if you're gonna be in the prison genre or the hip hop culture genre or the music genre, you gotta stay dedicated. A hey, times change, things happen every day. You need to stay on it, Holmes. You know, you have become now a hood reporter. You have now become someone that people rely upon um, to give them their information or to entertain them to some point, to some degree. So you need to be dedicated. Okay, you need to stay on your shit, on your craft. Um, another thing that you need to do to have a successful YouTube channel. Right? Is be very clear. Be very clear with what you say. You know, you can't leave things open for interpretation unless it's meant to be that way. You know, you don't go saying, and uh, I think, I think he got shot, but I don't know, you know. No, he either did or he didn't. Be very clear because people are depending upon you to give them their information that's going to process in their shit, right? Um, so you have to be very clear with your words and let everyone know exactly, you know, how you feel, whether if you're just a very opinionated person and it's your opinion or your perspective, and that's just all it is, you know, facts, Holmes, facts and facts, sharp, uh, steel, sharp and steel, right? They, people want facts. They don't want maybes or perhapses, or it could have been, right? They want, did it, did it happen? Simone, fuck, that's fucked. They just want the facts. Be very clear. Um, be very humble. OK, be very, a very humble person. You know, people ask you questions, uh, you know, they, they drop a comment. They're like, hey, bro, you know, where you, you know, what prison were you talking about? Oh, Corcoran, Holmes, or Pelican Bay, bro, or San Quentin. You know, take the time to commit yourself to answering some of these questions. I know a lot of people don't have time. They got jobs. They got other things going on uh, aside of YouTube. But if you're going to be a YouTuber, Holmes, and you want to build a great channel, a strong clica, right? A strong channel then you have to take the time to converse with your subscribers, with the people that are um, supporting you, basically. The people that are watching you, the people that, you know, 
you have some type of interaction, home set. Be very clear and, and concise on what you're talking about, bro. And treat them with humbleness. Be humble, homes. Don't just act like you're so, like you know everything or what, well, bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck. If you heard it, I said it already. Fill it up with unleaded. No. You need to sit down, take the time to enlighten that person, educate them. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, build some type of, uh, uh, of, of, you know, a uh, uh, relationship with that individual that's supporting you, you know? Yeah, bro, no, nah, that, that was this. You'll find out that in the YouTube game, a simple answer to a simple question is always the best thing instead of elaborating and going crazy, homes and start talking about shit that makes no sense, you know? Um, be very humble, you know, treat people with respect. Um, now, myself, my channel, personally, um, it's a growing channel, you know? It's a channel that that I've put a lot of work into, um, I dedicated myself to my craft and I try to do it with humility and be very humble. And at the same time, you know, there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes, the hate, the envy, the jealousy, the people that just ain't feeling me. And so you have to learn how to navigate all that. That's another thing on building a strong YouTube channel. You have to be able to navigate the bullshit. What's real from really fake. Um, cause there's going to be a lot of individuals that are jealous or envious or just don't like you for one reason or another. You know, I've been told time and time again, man, you think you're a funny motherfucker. Then I've been told that I am a funny motherfucker, right? At the same time, homes, I need to toe that line in the middle to being funny, but still speaking facts, being real. Um, I have my own wiggle. See, it's called charisma. I was, Benta, I was born with it, right? I was born with it. And it's not that, it's not for everybody. Not everybody has the gifted game, the vernacular that's very spectacular, right? Um, the skills, the necessary skills to tell a story and to tell it right, or that could, you know, basically lead you up to a climax. So it's kind of like climax, right? You just never know. Um, but at the same time, Holmes, if you're going to do YouTube, you have to be able to give the people what they want consistently. Now, that's another word, consistency. You have to be consistent. You can't drop a video on Monday, then drop one the next Wednesday after that. Because people, hey, this is a for fucking uh, 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 shelf life world. You know, if you're not really um, committed and consistent with your spills, you know, because there's people that look forward to it every day. It's like a fucking favorite fucking uh, TV show. So I can't wait for the next episode, right? And you got these people waiting. Eventually, they're going to forget about you. The shelf life, shelf life in YouTube on you um, is very, very, very short, right? Very small. It's a small window. So you have to stay consistent, dedicated. Every day, Holmes, come up with content ideas, work behind the scenes hard. You know, and spend time, Holmes. If you think YouTube is easy, it's not. It's not for the weary. It's not for the fucking, uh, for the weak-minded. Um, you have to stay dedicated. You have to be consistent. You have to drop a spill every day, man. Because these people that support you, these subscribers, these people that look forward to your spit every day, um, don't let them down. I said, I said, don't let them down, right? You got to keep on moving. Don't stop. You got to keep on going and, and, and going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Pero I don't do that bunny shit, but you know what I'm saying, right? Respects to everybody. Now, another thing that you need to do in YouTube is worry about yourself. Say it with your chest. I'm going to say it again one more time because the wind's blowing for those of you that didn't get it the first time, right? Worry about yourself. Stay in your own. I'm doing 60 in the fast lane. Pero to the ordinary place. I'm going to stay in my own lane and I expect everyone else to worry about yourself. If you're so consumed and worried about what the next man is doing or what the next channel is doing, it's good to support people. It's good to watch and see because there's only so much we can talk about. So everyone's going to have their own different perspective and their own different take on all the different same subjects at the same time. Homes, it's up to the people to decide, you know, what they believe, what they don't believe, what they want to watch, who they want to watch. Um, you can't change a person's mentality for the most part. If they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. And you got to be able to accept that, man. You got to be humble. You know, you got to understand that, okay, you know, shit, they just don't like me. You need to worry about yourself, homes. Hey, remember when you were a kid, you're worried about yourself. Okay. Well, the shit don't stop. Now, just because you're an adult, you're a grown man or grown woman, you still need to worry about yourself and what's going on around you in your immediate area. Instead of worrying about everyone else's business and looking at their wallet and watching in their purse and worried about what they have, homes, only worry about what you have and keep it pushing. Now, there's always gonna be those that are not, they're consumed more with what you're doing rather than what they're doing and they fail. And the reason they fail is because their eyes, that's it, are not on the prize, that's it, right? 
They're more worried about you and what you got going on rather than what they have going on. And in the midst of worrying about you, their shit falls apart. That's not the way to build a, a strong YouTube channel. The way to build a strong YouTube channel is to worry about you. What affects you that day? Okay? Instead of worrying about everybody else. You know, <clears throat> another thing. Help people. You need people like me, right? Help people. If someone is, you know, interested in building a YouTube channel, take the time. I know a lot of people don't have a lot of time um, and you're worried about yourself, you know, what you got going on in building your channel. Um, but if they ask you questions, man, tell them no lies. You know, hey, man, uh, so, so, hey, can you help me with this? You know, if you have the time and you're willing and able, sit down and take a minute to help people process their thoughts, to educate them a little bit. You're going to feel better about yourself. And at the end of the day, man, um, that shows uh, 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 um, that, that you're the type of person, you know, that is willing to assist people and help people. And it's good karma. You know, it comes back and you'll meet a lot of good people. You know, you'll meet a lot of good people. Now, it's not your obligation to hold their hand and do everything for them. All I wanted was you to love me. You don't got to love anyone, homes, especially another man. You don't. But at the same time, Holmes, it doesn't hurt you to help, you know, to motivate, to be like, hey, bro, I hope you're doing good. I hope that you prosper. You know, just a good word or two um, goes a long way in life, I've learned, not just in YouTube, in life. But that helps you to build a stronger YouTube channel because you gain a reputation of someone that at least is willing to help. If someone's like, hey, man, I'm a small channel and you think you could give me an interview, bro, that would really help me because I'm going to utilize your name to build, get views. And yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. I got you. I got about 30 minutes on Saturday. I can fuck with you, right? Um, and not because you're big and bad and because you're just that one. Um, because um, you're willing to assist somebody. You know, help them grow. Help them grow. Another word um, that becomes real big in building a channel is called networking. Network. Don't burn the bridge. We hit bridge to cross. We hit bridge to burn. Orderly country music, right? Don't burn your bridges. Network. Network, I said, especially if you're in a certain genre where everyone's pretty much talking about the same thing. It's good to network and, and help each other, man. You know, hey, so I was, yeah, he trip out. So I was going to do a video. Hey, that's a trip. I was going to do the same video. Hey, well, look, let's network on some shit. You do it like this. I do it like that. It's like this and like that and like that. And uh, all right, it ain't nothing but a G thing, right? And everyone's going to work out, work it out, work it out, walk it out, right? You're going to talk it out, walk it out. And it's going to become something that is helpful for everyone. So you don't step on each other's toes so you don't get someone feeling some type of way. Because every man is different. Every woman is different. Everyone was raised different, has different morals, different values. Um, you might do something and they take it as an affront or, hey, man, you're just trying to hate on me. Shut up, bitch. Right? Ain't no one trying to hate on you. Are you kidding me? Look at me. Right? <laughs> Look at me. You know what I mean? All this love and shit. And what you got to do is, is network, you know. Um, but you don't have to go out of your way to please everybody. You know, you're trying to build a YouTube channel. You're trying to build a base. You're trying to build a brand. You're trying to do something for yourself. And people need to understand that you're going to come first before everyone else. You're willing to help people. You're willing to assist. You're willing to go the extra mile a little bit further than others would go, right? But at the same time, homes, they can't forget that you have your own thing going on. And they need to respect it, you know? Well, you got 50,000 subscribers. What about me? What about you? You know, I did it on my own merits, by hard work, by dedication, you know, with my charisma. Spence on Athena Homes, not everyone is going to be the same. There's dudes with a million subscribers and I'm not hating. I'm just like, damn, I'm trying to, I'm trying to achieve that. I wonder what that'd be like, right? At the same time, the only way I'm going to get there is with hard work. Work, guess it. In life, nothing is for free. You know what I mean? Even that piruha that you picked up on the corner, she needs 20 to chop season, right? There's nothing for free. Spencer, if you do get some for free, you know what I mean? You're off the bubbler. There's something behind it. There's something attached to that. No strings attached. Oh, there's strings attached, bitch, right? That's just the way it is. Um, you need to come to the understanding to build a strong YouTube channel that it's you and you only that can do it, okay? Don't think talking about the next man or belittling the next man or clowning his channel or doing that is going to help you because you gain no love. And I thought you knew it. Fool, you know how we do it, right? It doesn't work. You know, I, I've said it time and time again. I've told several people. They're like, oh, yeah, I was just going to clown. It doesn't work. You might get a few views because people love drama. But at the same time, homes, 
Eventually they get tired of the same old bullshit, right? Try to stay drama free if you can, unless you're like me where it's all my fault. So the motherfucker runs out of gas on the side of the road, it's my fault. Motherfucker trips and falls and hits his head on a fucking, it's all Gunner's fault, right? They blame me for everything. Hey, you know, that's just the world I live in. Not your world, but mine, right? But it's fine. I keep on pushing. I stay consistent. I still drop my spills. I don't let it get in my head and I do what I does. Cause if you think for any reason I will not fight back or I will not fucking, you know, put it out there what I need to put out there, then you're very confused and mistaken. I can only take so much before it's time for me to counter punch, right? Tiger. And that's just the way it is. Um, but to build a strong, efficient YouTube channel in any genre, mind your own or your own will remind you. Okay, don't expect anyone else to do the hard work for you. You know what I mean? When you're out there in the fields picking tomatoes, you think the next bicep right there next to you is going to do your work? Right? He's like, fuck that. I see his mind is already on some fat white chick on Friday and a bottle of Bucanas. He's not tripping off what you got going on. He's doing his thing to get his jacket, to get his fucking mom on, to win. So he could build his rancho and go back home and chill, right? He don't worry about what you got going on. You know, if you're fucking up, he might say, hey, Mr. Hey. Hey, 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 mister. Yeah, no, no, no. The guy that we got, he's not a good guy. No, no. You know what I mean? You've seen it. You know how it is. He's not a good guy. Um, he doesn't know how to do the work right. Work hard. That's all I can say for anybody. Work hard. Doesn't matter what genre you're in. Pay attention to your craft. Stay dedicated to your craft. Humble yourself and do your thing. And that is the recipe to build a strong YouTube channel. Now, I will say this. Um, it's not for everybody. It might not work out the same it works out for you than it does me. There's some people that just explode on the block. They catch an algorithm. It's a lot of blind luck, man. None of us have figured out YouTube because if we did, then we'd all be making the big bag and have millions of subscribers. We're all in a struggle together. No one is better than anyone. Some people might have a little bit better flavor, a little bit better vibe, a little bit better stilo, a little bit better channel in their presentation. But at the same time, homes, it doesn't mean you're better than the next man. We're all men. And women, some of us are men that think that act like women, right? Um, I ain't in that category, right? Um, it's up to you to decide what you are and how you're going to present yourself. Okay. Um, I can't do nothing for you, man, you know, and you can't do nothing for me. And I don't expect anyone to, you know, that's the recipe of a prospering YouTube channel. Um, just stay dedicated and consistent. That's it. You know, I've had people call me, Hey bro, my channel's not, I don't get no subscribers. What do I do? Well, she, I don't know, right? Um, drop a spill every day, homes. You know, throw a little mota in your love life. Be, be funny, bro. Um, you know, tell the people what they want to hear, homes, but speak actual and factual. Don't just fucking sit there with your shirt off and your pink nipples, hairy nipples showing, sweating everywhere and expect everyone to watch you. People are grossed out by that. Some people are like, ah, you know, fuck, bro, it's December. Do you own a shirt? Put a shirt on. It's, show some class, some professionalism. You know, build your studio. Put It takes money to make money. Put some money back into what you got going on. I know you got bills. I know you got a family. I know you got a lot of shit going on, homes. But if you're really, truly trying to build a YouTube channel, a strong channel, homes, then put money into, you know, a bet on yourself. It's all in, right? And that's how you build a channel. Anyways, these are just a few of the pointers, a few of the uh, uh, ways to build a strong YouTube channel without hating on other people, without shitting on other people, without talking about other people. Um, worry about yourself, worry about what you're doing, and do the best you can for the people, for the gente, for the raza, for whoever it is that you're targeting, homes your target base. Do the best you can for them and keep it truthful. You know what I mean? You ain't got to lie to kick it. You ain't got to sign to the next man. You might get a few views, but I promise you this, I'll burn that bitch down. You get me pissed to live and die, Merced. That's just how we do it. That's the way I was raised. Anyways, with that being said, I hope this was able to help you to give you a few pointers on what you need to do to build your YouTube channel. Um, be consistent. That's my favorite word of the day. I can't spell it worth shit, but I'll tell you right now, um, stay consistent, man. And, and don't let anybody, you know, get in your mind and fuck your head up. Um, because at the end of the day, only you can allow that. So basically that's you fucking your own mind up, you know, do your thing. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about struggling and striving for what you want and what you believe in. Only you can do it. No one, and I repeat, no one will do it for you. You think I want to hold another man's hand and fucking guide him? Bitch, get away from me, right? Weirdo. 
That's just it, right? If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe with a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Heavy is the head, where's the crown? My lid's gonna stay fitted and committed. You know what it is, man. I ain't got time for bullshit, and bullshit ain't got time with me. And that's just the way it is. Hate it or love it, the underdog's on top, and I'm gonna smile, homie, until your heart stops. We got envy me. I'm YouTube MVP. Orale. Why? Because I work hard. Bang, bang. The gun.